Hi, I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and this is your unboxing of the much anticipated Apple iPad. This is the Wi Fi only version, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Okay, it comes with this protective case. There's a lot of fingerprints on mine, so it looks like someone has been playing with it, but it still does have the plastic on it. Okay, let's take this plastic off. And it's very shiny and new. So they say it weighs one and a half pounds, and the screen is 9.7 inches diagonally from here to here. So let's go ahead and put that down and see what else comes with it. So we've got a standard iPod charger, USB port, and the AC power adapter. Okay. In this envelope, we have some information about our iPad how to turn it off, what the different buttons are, just a little quick how-to card, and then the information guide, and some Apple stickers. Under here, it's not quite so easy to get under. Actually, there's nothing under here, so all of this is kind of empty space, which is unusual for an Apple product. Well, let's turn it on for the first time and see how it works. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock, so we push the power button at the bottom and slide it just like an iPod Touch or an iPhone. The home screen has the standard operating system applications that we expect, such as calendar and contacts, YouTube, videos. It also has iWork applications that have been optimized for iPads, such as Keynote and Pages. And the iBook store, which is new to Apple, so this is the place where we're going to be able to find all of our books in a library just like this. You tap one to open it and then you can just drag the pages across and drag them right back which is very nice. On the side you can see there's a screen rotation lock on the top so if you don't want it to change rotation from landscape to portrait you can lock that and then these buttons here are volume up and down. So first impression is that it looks exactly like it's supposed to. It's very elegant and responsive and basically like an iPod Touch or an iPhone. We've also got some peripherals, so let's take a look at those. The iPad doesn't come with these peripherals, but we have them here anyway in case you want them. We have a case, a dock, and a USB power adapter. So let's open up this case and see what it looks like. This is Apple's version, although we already know that there will be third-party versions of the iPad case. We'll take it out of the plastic and try it on for size. So there we go, with the case on. Let's go ahead and stand it up. This dock also comes separate. This is for sitting your iPad down on a desk. The iPad does come with a power adapter, but if you need a longer cord, you can always buy this as a 10-watt USB power adapter, so it's got a longer cord. It's going to be for you to sit it down on the floor or something and string this power to your couch from your wall outlet or something like that. So when you buy an iPad, you get basically the iPad, the manuals, the charger, and the power adapter. You do not get this case. This is extra, but it's a very nice case. If you don't like it, you can always buy third-party cases. If you want a dock, that also is extra. This is what the dock looks like. And again, if you want an extra power charger with a longer cord, you can buy that extra as well. So that is your unboxing of the brand new Apple iPad. This is the Wi-Fi version, not the 3G version, which comes out in a few weeks. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV. Thank you for watching.